welcome back. Men of Light 2 came out back in 2002 and once again directed by Barry Seinfeld and stars Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith, Rosario Dawson, Rip Torn, and Laura Flynn Boyle. And it follows Agent J who is sent to find Agent K and restore his memory after they are reappearance of a case from K's past catches up to him involving an evil Kylothian Serlina who comes looking for a light of Zartha a source of power which in the wrong hands could mean the destruction and complete annihilation for planet Earth. Okay, so let's get into the positives, folks. Once again, Tom Lee Jones and Will Smith delivered. Like I said in the first film's review, they were born to play this part. They had great chemistry. It was about the same, only the tables was flipped because the way the last one ended, Agent J erased Kay's memory. And it was sort of flipped in this. So Will Smith was like the one that was trying to get Kay back on board. So he was like the the mentor in this. The the guy that tries to reteach Kay everything he once knew. So yeah, their chemistry was pretty good. Just like in the first one, it was just as funny. You are a former agent of a top secret organization that monitors extraterrestrials on Earth. We're the men in black. We have a situation and we need your help. There is a free mental health clinic at the corner of Lilac and East Valley. Several characters I'm going to mention in this that I didn't mention in the first. Rip Torn plays Zed, their superior. He, he plays a decent part. He, I, I felt like he was in it more. He played it off pretty good. He's the superior. He's over the organization. Rosaria Dawson plays Laura. She plays a really good key role in this. I can't really tell you what it is, but she, she plays a big part in it. And I thought she did a really good job. And of course, here's some more characters I was really wanting to mention in the first, but they wasn't in it that much. Frank the Pug and the Worm Guys. Friggin' hilarious. I'm glad when they got around to doing Men of Light 2, they got them in it more. And it was just hilarious. It was like watching Three Stooges just a little bit, only without the eye gouging and poking. So I said, listen, bitch, if you don't want me to kick your skinny zone diet ass, turn around and exit the plan. They were just hilarious. I love the one guys. I love Frank the Pug. They were awesome. The cinematography and lighting was done really well. It was lit up just perfectly. The practical effects in this film wasn't bad at all. There was some CGI moments in there, but it wasn't unwatchable. It was, it was done pretty well. The music and the score was good, which kind of leads me into the negatives. The song that Will Smith plays in this wasn't as good as the Men in Black one that he did for the first one. That was kind of a negative, and yes, I was just at the end credits, but still, it wasn't the same for me. The story and direction, even though Barry Sonnenfeld did a good job on this, I just felt like it wasn't as strong as the first. The story didn't entice me as much. I didn't resonate with it as much as the first. And Laura Flynn Boyle plays the main villain, Serlina, a Kylothian squid-looking-like thing. She didn't intimidate me, not as much as the bug from the first one did. The bug from the first one was badass. Serlina in this, I don't know, it's just, I didn't get intimidated by her. When I saw her true form, I just didn't feel anything. <laughs> She just didn't capture the intensity that the bug, the villain bug in the first one did. My final thoughts, it's good for what it is. Men in Black 2 is still a fun ride. It's still a fun intergalactic ride. Was it a terrible film? No, not by far. But as all sequels does, it just didn't triumph over the first one. I'm giving Men in Black 2 a B+. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. What did you think of Men in Black 2? Leave me that comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Look right here, please. You will like, subscribe, get reputized, and share with all your friends. And I'll see you soon for more videos and reviews coming to you to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Stay tuned for my Men of Light 3 review coming soon. Peace the rip out.